So VWAP is covered and next study uh, that we can do, right. So next we'll get into one that's a little bit complicated but not really complicated, <laughs> long story short. So um, because I want the dark, uh, the dark setting from this one, actually you know what, it's probably easier just to come up and create a chart, a new chart. So we just go back again, we go to find symbol, we'll create a brand new chart for this particular one, we'll say open intraday. But instead of open intraday, the study that we're going to do next is pivots, it's pivot points. Um, these need to be put on a time-based chart. It's, it's so important for them to be put on a time-based chart. So to create them on a time-based chart, you create a historical time-based chart for the, for the most accuracy. So we'll just create a, a, an open in historical time-based chart and we're going to change it. Oh, it's already set to a daily. So we'll close this guy. It doesn't matter what's on this chart. All we need to make sure is that this is a daily chart because our pivots are based, uh, the, how they're calculated are based on daily. We'll be covering pivots again later in the modules, but a uh, super, super useful tool because a lot of algos and things I think operate off them. So we wanna make sure that they are correct when we create them. So to do that, we simply have our new chart here, pivots. We come in and we set them up as normally. Uh, we just gotta go in and use our times as required previously. Um, we don't worry about the session. We don't even need to, 4,000 days, we don't need to worry about that, but it's a historical chart, so it doesn't really matter. We can actually turn this guy off if we wish, it doesn't really matter. You can leave it blank, um, it doesn't really matter. It's gonna populate the pivots on here anyways, so we don't need to do anything else, basically just identify our chart in here. We're gonna use our chart, we're just gonna say um, pivot source, pivot, pivots, pivots, source, S-O-U-R-C-E, and then again, as always, D N D. Do not delete. If you do, if you delete this uh, pivot source chart, it will simply stop them from printing on the other charts. So, next step is go into our studies again, F six, and we want to go pivots or P for pivots. So let's just scroll down through this guy. Pivot points daily. Here we go. We just add this guy in, and we just go into our settings. Into our settings. This is a. Uh, um, uh, it doesn't really matter. This is just to, to show you and to set up our colors. A number of days to calculate 50, round tick size. This is just uh, accuracy. We want to keep it as standard. Daily chart number one. No. We want our daily chart number to be number five. Our current chart number, as previously mentioned, number five. Reference daily chart for data. Yes. Uh, forward project pivot lines, no, use entered high, low, close values, no, entered open value, blah, 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 blah. So the rest is fine, use day session only. No, so we are using our historical chart, we want our subgraphs. You can come in and add and remove as many of these as you wish. I like to keep them as a line, so I'm just gonna put them all into line, 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 you can add a um, value label, remove the name label as you wish. Um, actually, I'm gonna do that. I don't like the name label. It gets in the way of the price sometimes. Dash, just change it to line. Do, 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 line. Hidden, you can turn on five. I think three to four is probably plenty. Three, line again, line. One name label, turn it off. Uh, we can so we line, 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 hidden, hidden. Two point five is hidden. Line five, hidden, hidden. Two point five, hidden. Three. We want to change it to a line. You get the point. We just go through all these name label, remove pivot itself. We're going to leave it as a line. Name label. You'll know by the colors and where you are. You can squeeze it up and see them anyways. Four hidden. You can put on four if you wish or five if you wish. So I'm just going to leave it as that. So, and I, I like to remove the name labels and that is it. So we just apply and we don't want it. We want it to be a solid line perfectly. And we want it to, this is printed each day as it comes perfect okay okay so that's okay perfect apply and done alrighty okay apply and okay so this is our source chart for our pivot data 
Again, the exact same kind of idea. These are fixed on the each given day. They change, as you can see, they vary. Oh, we just want to round it off to the tick. So last thing on that that we missed, let me see, settings. There should be an input in here. Round tick size, here we go. <coughs> missed that one, yes. Uh, anything else, number of days, kind of fit your feedback. All good. Apply, all good. We've renamed our chart already, pivot source data. We can remove our... Move our title bar, boop, boop, and that is it. So we need to note this title bar again. This is daily, number five, and so on for reference. Because now, same as previously, we just need to minimize this guy. Uh, minimize, boom. Let's get this guy tucked over in the corner here as well. Let's get this guy tucked in with this guy. Boom, pivots, pivot source. Now we go through the same process again to add our pivots to our chart. So personally, I like the pivots on the footprint. So let's go and put the pivots on the footprint. F6 studies. What was our name? We have our studies price overlay from what? Uh, so we'll go to S. Studies. Where are we again? Study price overlay. Here we go. We're going to go add. We're going to go settings. We go to our overlay settings again. We want to go to our daily. We want to pick our pivot points daily. Perfect. <coughs> but blah, 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 blah. We can leave all this the same. Just to synchronize. Fully synchronize the source. No. We just want to synchronize the name values. Okay, perfect. Yes. Okay. And apply it. Make sure it's in region one. The chart region one. And we want to have inherited. And apply. And we hit okay. Now apply, okay, and we should have our, where is our, did we, did we highlight it on here? Let me check again, do, 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 uh, pivots, did I put them on? I did, uh, apply settings, let me just check in here, we have, this is not the correct, we need to copy, uh, Copy it over, bloody hell, where is it now? ID5, straight overlay, pivots, did I pick pivots? Day number five, yes. Main price, did I not pick pivot points? Sure I did pick the pivot points. Apply, okay, study one, okay, pivot points, yes. Okay, match source, yes, blah, blah, value nearest, copy source, data to latest corresponding destination. Uh, yes, 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 okay, apply. Now we should see, oh, whoop, doop, boop. There we go, big, ah, I left on the S1 identifier, oops, back to that, F6, turn off the settings, oh, we don't want to do it on this one, cancel, okay, go back to our source, F6, what did I leave on, S1, just settings, S1, identifier, S1, there we go, name label, turn it off, apply, okay, apply, apply, okay, and away we go. Minimize. There we go. We'll get there. We'll get there. So now we have our lovely pivots printed on our intraday chart. There we go. So we're above the pivot at the moment. We're covered in the module. Um, and there we have it. 23, 50, 75 is the pivot. Below that, we've got our support, S1, S1, and so on. And above, we've got our R1, R2, R3, or our resistance levels. Right. So there we go. Pivots is complete. Okay, what next?